and all. Thank you for having me, and I and I agree with you. I think it's important for the public to get to know the the candidates that are running for judicial office because a lot of times that's all they see is just the names, and sometimes they can't really you know differentiate one from the other right. just by looking at the names. Right, and it, and it has nothing to do with the the qualifications either. What kind of qualifications? Because people uh, follow different uh, tracks. Um, uh, you're already a sitting judge. Yes. Uh, you have been for how many years now? Uh, nearly 15 years. And how did that first happen for you? Because I understand I've, I, we've interviewed other judges and they said some of them um, were selected by uh, their peers. And right. Some ran. How, how did it happen for you? And, and for me, that's what happened. I was, I was selected by my peers, my colleagues that are sitting on the bench. I first became a judge as what's known as an associate judge. And what happens uh, as an associate judge is you submit your credentials to the chief judge of the circuit court. And here it would be the chief judge of the circuit court. And you also go before the bar associations. The bar associations evaluate you. Then they make a determination whether they find you qualified or not qualified. And then the chief judge convenes a committee also, mainly made up of the presiding judges. And then uh, they interview you and they make a determination as to which candidates they feel might be good judges. And what they do is they select twice the amount that they need. So when, when I ran, uh, there was 18 vacancies. So there was 36 of us that were selected to run, which is called the short list. Uh, we were 36 out of 366. There was 366 wow. candidates. And then basically what you do with that is you go around and you meet all the full circuit judges. So did that mean you had to go to Rolling Meadows and yes. Skokie and Bridgeview and right. yeah, 26? Yeah. And, oh my and then all the branch courts as well. You have to go all of the branch courts. You have to go to uh, Bridgeview, 111th, uh, Skokie, and you have to you know, meet all the, the judges. And then the Daily Center. You have to go in the Daily oh, Center wow. and meet all the judges in the Daily Center and present your credentials and sit down and talk with them. And then they'll interview you, and then they'll, you know, they'll, they'll ask you a variety of questions. Uh, everybody has their own style, and you know, they'll ask you questions. And then, then eventually a uh, ballot goes out. It's about 14 days later. Uh, after the list is created, uh, then the ballots will go out, they, and then the judges uh, uh, vote on the candidates that they were most impressed with, and then those are the ones that become the associate judges. So that's one way to, to get on the bench. And then the other way is by the electorate uh, right. voting for candidates running uh, uh, for judge. But for you, in your case, it says a lot f for you because you could have had a bright idea to say, I want to be a judge, and just came out the gate trying to run. Right. But you took another route, which, in my estimation, for you to go through that kind of process and then get selected as an associate judge says a lot about um, your uh, wherewithal and your qualifications. Oh, thank you. And I was very fortunate as an associate judge to sit in a variety of different assignments. Uh, I was in traffic court. Everybody starts out in traffic court. But then I was in Markham. I was in domestic violence court. Uh, I was at 26th Street here in preliminary matters doing bond court and jury trials. So I had a variety of different assignments uh, and then did all the branch courts within, uh, within the city. and in So the, the branch courts of some people listening, uh, like on Grand Avenue. Right, and Grand Central, yeah, 51st Harrison and Wentworth, and Harrison and Kedzie, uh, 111th. Um, and well, when I was uh, first on, uh, there used to be one over at 11th and State as well. Right. Um, so, you know, you sit in those different... Now, those assignments. branch courts, are those dealing with just criminal matters, basically? Mostly uh, a misdemeanor, criminal misdemeanor. Some of them deal with uh, uh, felonies. Uh, okay. Like at 111th, I did both the uh, misdemeanor uh, call and then the, the felony uh, preliminary hearing call as well. Mm.